It's the workshop in the woods where the magic happens. Inside, Jill and Andy Fimble are carving out a name for themselves. What started as a hobby for this husband and wife is now the Rustic Seed, a woodcrafting business blossoming from the workshop they built right outside their front door. Oh, it's like our happy place, yeah. right? Is there a sign that says that? <laughs> so yeah. I didn't sleep for quite a while building this place. Yeah, so Andy pretty much installed everything. I mean, like the, the yeah. ceiling, the walls, the flooring. He's kind of a jack of all trades or yeah. handy Andy, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> like butter. Andy carries on the family name in the fourth generation Fimble garage door business, creating custom doors in the workshop, also specializing in furniture and intricate cutting boards and butcher blocks. That's where Jill jumps in, scooping up the leftovers and molding them into her own masterpieces. Mine are very like, asymmetric and no measurements required and I scrap wood. Because uh, that's how I roll. I don't want to have to do math when I'm making art. Mm. But Andy, on the other hand, uh, precision, you know, measurements. Um, so, because he's the woodworker, I'm the artist. <laughs> Jill salvages the scraps for jewelry and much more. These are the upcycled jewelry. So some of these are uh, freshwater mussel shells I get from a New Hampshire lake and make those. So I make wooden rings out of the scrap wood. These are all just cutting board cutoffs. And same with the, the chopsticks and the hair sticks. Creations from the rustic seed sell in local shops, like here in Milford. That helps fund more projects and more time in the family workshop. Baxter is our shop dog. He's a scrappy little guy. He's 10 years old. Everybody loves Baxter. <laughs> yeah. Especially Jill and Andy's daughters, Ava and Jay. They have their own playroom built into the workshop. It has, you know, tools and toys and paint and wooden blocks and a They can magnet do their board. own workshop stuff. Yeah, like wood shop stuff. And it has a um, chalkboard. And, and then all the way at the top, if they climb ladders, they can get up to the top. And it is all carpeted with pillows and a little reading area. Um, and they can see us through the window, so they can kind of bang and say hi or tell us if they need something. And they can pass down stuff from a, a little, um, like a little basket they put down, so they like put snacks in it. <laughs> Dance party! And there's always time to stop and turn the tabletop into a family dance party. As soon as their little fingers could, Ava and Jay began following in their parents' creative footsteps, dad teaching his daughters fine crafting skills, mom sharing what she learned in all the art classes she took in college. But Jill's degree is actually in psychology. Step outside the rustic seed and into the wellness seed, her new center in Amherst where Jill is a licensed clinical mental health counselor. This is more from Melissa Richard. She uses art to inspire and heal, filling the walls with works from local artists. It's just a lot of nature and relaxing things. So my office is right down this way. <laughs> The big thing about the art is I want people to just come in the door and feel comfortable. I think it brings out joy in people, it, it can bring cultures together, and it can kind of express all the different emotions. Art's always been a part of me, and I know it's a part of the therapy that I do. Jill's own painting, a work in progress, hangs above the couch. This one's kind of guarding um, everything, and there's just so much going on externally and internally. And I just love kind of the contrast and the peacefulness of this. I've added to that painting uh, over the years. And it's still very new, just getting started. She also invites people to take a deep breath. But then this would be the yoga studio area. Relax and learn in the space she built with her husband. I need a quarter. Okay. With yoga and massage, nutrition, support groups, and seminars. You know, we're a good team. We work well together. Yeah. The theme of this team is always art. 
just play around with it. It's fun. And that's where the mental health piece comes in, is they talk about it being the process, not the product. The process is kind of meditative and relaxing. And I think we're a good example because we'd never made a guitar before, and we did. They took on that challenge in an epic way. Jill and Andy carved an electric guitar out of colored pencils set in resin. More than 200 hours of work paid off. They donated it to be auctioned off by the Boys and Girls Club of Sauhegan Valley. That's an incredible amount of work put into it. And, uh, you know, it shows in the craftsmanship of the, the piece. To have a, a local business be able to do the work that they did um, and have that go back to the community and support hundreds of kids here at the Boys and Girls Club uh, with this donation is, is going to be a great thing. On to Jill's next artistic adventure, illustrating a children's book. So it's about walking in the New Hampshire woods and seeing wildlife. While a few feet away... These were cut down about um, three weeks ago. Andy wonders what to create out of the walnut planks drying in the workshop. Yes, this is their happy place to collaborate and create and all be together under one workshop roof. We'll be out here like all day sometimes. I mean, we would spend yeah, starting Sunday usually. a whole yeah, yeah weekend out here. So we'll have meals out here sometimes. If we don't have plans to go anywhere, we're just we're in here usually. <laughs> we try not to make plans. <laughs> <laughs>